Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see how to analyze Likert scales or semantic differential scales using mediation analysis in SPSS. So uh, in this uh, questionnaire, we have three Likert scales. Uh, we have leadership style, we have employee performance, and we have organizational productivity. And we want to see the relationship between employee in performance and uh, organizational productivity, controlling for the mediated effect of leadership style. All right. So in the first place, before having this, we should first calculate the mean scores of Likert scale. So we go to the items of each scale, and then we start computing the sum of Likert scale. Okay, so this is for leadership style, this is for uh, performance, and this is for productivity. Okay, so if we want to compute uh, the main scores of Likert scales, we go to uh, transform, compute variable, and we go here to, okay, so we go for, so we search for statistical, okay and we go for we go for the mean and we move it here to this box by clicking this arrow and then we start moving items okay so i keep moving it items of each scale and putting the, the the title of the scale or the type and label of the scale here okay and i should put a comma after each item till i finish and click okay and then i will have a variable created new variable created that is leadership style for instance because it is named as such okay you can uh, find the video in the description box that describes how you can go about this process all right so to be to make this uh, video short i'm going to go directly to uh, how to run the analysis so we go to analyze and you should already have this uh, process macro installed so I go to regression okay regression and we go to process v4 macro by Andrew F Hayes okay so this uh, add-on is uh, installed directly from a website you can just uh, look for it and install it okay so I go to it and I go to the uh, computed scores of the variables so here employee performance is the x variable that is the independent variable the organizational productivity is the dependent variable or the y variable and the leadership style is the m variable or the mediator variable okay so this is a triangle model okay so we go to model number four so you can find so we have many models you want to find what uh, model suits your analysis the best so you, there is also a pdf about this you can contact me for it okay so four and we go to options and i'm going to check what kinds of output i would like to have so have pairwise contrast of indirect effects we can have standardized effects we have show total effects all right uh, we can also the show covariances of regression coefficient okay or coefficient so i can keep everything as it is i click ok i click ok and then click again okay so the number of bootstrap samples is kept at uh, 500 or 5000 rather etc etc so the, the p-value is below 0 0.05 so it's a uh, 95 percent confidence all right, so we click OK and we wait for the output to be generated. So this will take a little bit of time. OK, so I'm waiting. So here running the matrix. OK, so it has been done. OK, variable name should be no more than eight characters in length. So what if we got this error? Uh, again we should just rename the variable okay or the variables i can put here here l l 
E for employee performance and O for organizational productivity. Again, I should change the name here. L, employee performance and organizational productivity. Okay, and then uh, again, go, go about doing the same uh, thing. So we go to regression. Okay, so we go to process macro and so already everything uh, has been checked so i just click ok and wait again for the analysis okay here is the analysis so so this is the model model 4 and we have the organizational uh, productivity as y x and m we have the sample size we have the outcome variable we have the again for the outcome variable so we have leadership and we have model summary of leadership. We have again uh, path, the other paths. We have path E, path B, path C, path, etc. So we have different paths, and we have if uh, the total uh, effect of X of uh, on Y. So we have different paths. So I'm going to make another video on how to interpret this output. So stay tuned for other videos. If you have questions or remarks or even uh, you want to contact me you can contact me via my uh, whatsapp or email you can find this in the description box below or the comment section and see you in another tutorial bye for now